We looked earlier at number bonds to 10. In this video, we'll look at number bonds to 20. These are almost as important as number bonds to 10, especially at this level, because when you add two numbers, if they are number bonds, you can easily add them to 20 without requiring much thinking. So as I have these already from the number bonds to 10, we had 1 and 9 to give us 10, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5, 6 and 4, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, 9 and 1. Now I'll try to make a total of 20. So I have a 1 already there, 1 pink cube. If I add 19 orange cubes that makes 20 so all i'm going to be changing from the nine is adding a digit one in front so one and 19 makes 20. similarly two and 18 makes 20. three and 17 4 and 16, 5 and 15, 6 and 14, 7 and 13, 8 and 12, 9 and 11. So all I did was to add 10 to the number bonds, to one of the number bonds. So 1 plus 19, 2 plus 18, 3 and 17, 4 and 16, 5 and 15, 6 and 14, 7 and 13, 8 and 12, 9 and 11. So these are some of the number bonds to 20. So but we have a few more. So the other ones would be if I added that 10 to the first number and you'll see how that looks like when I do it. So if I had instead 11, so if I had 11 and the 9, that still makes 20. So that one in front, instead of going to the 9, it is going to the 1. So 11 and 9 gives us 20. Similarly, 12 and 8 still gives us 20. 13 and 7, 14 and 6, 15 and 5, 16 and 4, 17 and 3, 18 and 2, 19 and 1. So these are the number bonds to 20. We didn't change much from the number bonds to 10. In the first row, in the first column, we had 1, 
a 19, 2 and 18. So now we have 11 and 9, 12 and 8, 13, 7, 3, 17, 14 and 6, 4 and 16, 15 and 5, 5 and 15, 16 and 4, 6 and 14. So all that is changing is where you place that extra 10, that block of 10 cubes. So is it at the front or is it at the back with the orange cubes?